Okay, this one is called ReZero's fan service will shock you from Mr. Jake. And you know what? When was the last time you saw atrocious fan service in ReZero? Of course, character designs like Elsa exist. I acknowledge that, right? I understand. But if you really think about it, compared to a lot of these other shows, there's barely any fan service. There's no cheap panty shot. There's no, you know, a dude tripping and landing on a girl's booba. Most of the character designs are quite moderate, right? I don't think cleavage is fan service. Just because a girl's bust size is huge doesn't mean it's fan service. But the way that they dress is quite moderate. Now, of course, there's exceptions then. Like, then there's super turbo bimbos, you know, designs like Elsa. And that's why we're just ogling over her. But let's see how much the fan service will really shock me from the source material. Did you know in arc 2 of ReZero, in mm. the web novel, that... Emilia says that she will do anything for Subaru, including sexual favors. Emilia said this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who, Emilia? Bro, in the web novel, that Emilia says that Emilia. she will do anything for Subaru. But, but I thought Emilia didn't even know properly what a kiss was. She thought that you get prego. I thought that Emilia didn't even know what the concept of date nor love means. Yet she's saying, I'll give you the sucky sucky? What do you mean? Including sexual favors. And Subaru, of course, is extremely excited about that. And, of course, Amelia starts breaking down in tears. What? Do you believe that this happened? Well, it did. And that's one example of some fan service elements which has been removed from the web novel. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this, remember, the web novel is a draft. It didn't really get made into the light novel. So this is basically just... It's not a fan fiction, but you know, it's it's not actually canon. In this video, I'll be talking about all of the fan service from <laughs> the light novel, the web novel, what and the of fuck? course the anime. And I'm pretty sure some of these things will actually shock you that they okay. exist. So if you're an anime only, this video will be safe for you because I'm only covering season one and season two. This is crazy. This is the season three cover picture. This video is a year ago. Motherfucker spoiling. Capella, no, I'm kidding. This is, this is not really spoilers. These characters, I, I honestly don't think that um, character designs are necessarily spoilers. Now, there can be spoilers for character designs, right? If it's supposed to be a hidden identity of a character that's been, you know, foreshadowed for a long time, I feel pretty pissed off. Like Sata, like, for example, before I even knew what Sata looked like in season two, someone showed me, I'd be like, what the fuck, right? But for the most part, like, it's not really. Um, but, you know, too gluttony here. Pretty interesting, huh? Good though. I will also be covering the side stories around Season 1 and Season 2 of the anime also. The best place to start is, of course, Arc 1. Now, if you've watched my live streams, then I've already mentioned this before. Most of us know that Elsa is, of course, a sexualized character. Very. However, did you know that in the light novel, namely Volume 1, when Subaru meets with Elsa, we have an illustration of Elsa. That's crazy that her nipples are also, there's a little, there's a little bump here. Amazing attention to detail. He could have just made this all circle, but he was like, no. This is where the nipples are going to be. And I'm going to make a little, little, little curve here. Yup. Yup. However, in this illustration, if you zoom in and you actually focus on I'm, her assets, you I'm can zooming. actually see that her nipples. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to zoom in, baby. I, I, you, th you think I'm a fucking noob? You, you, th you, you think I'm a fucking normie? No, I, as soon as I saw that my, my eyes exactly went to the only thing that mattered. Are sort of protruding through yeah. the clothing. And you can notice that there are two small bumps on each <laughs> breast. Now, of course, I'm zooming in so you can sort of see this yeah. yourself. But you can see there are no notes. Uh, another interesting thing is how Elsa's symbol here and Melee. Remember how the cut content in season two, right? It was hinted that Melee was not hired. It, it, she's not part of the same group as Elsa, is what I'm trying to say, right? Melee and Elsa, they have different crest or symbols, and Melee belongs to a different faction, although she is working with Elsa. That's still a bit of a mystery that hasn't been solved yet. Simple bumps on her dress, which of course represent where her nipples are at. After Reinhard beats Elsa in a fight, we see that Elsa runs away from Subaru mm. and states that she will, of course, come back and gut him later. And she However, did. what we find out in the Assassin Sisters diary is that Elsa actually meets up with Melee. 
<laughs> Assassin Sister Diary. We needed a break time episode for this shit. What's happening? Uh, I mean, Elsa's all fucked up. She's healing up. What's Melee doing though? And due to Reinhardt, so. So if this sensor wasn't here, would you, would the actual nipples be shown? Does a light novel art actually show this? What's happening here? Do they censor it with her hair falling across the nipples? It's probably that, right? The hair probably covers. There's no way they're actually showing the goods here. Of abilities, this causes Elsa's wounds to not heal as effectively. This yeah, and the thing about okay, one one more thing. Go back. Heats up with melee, and due to Reinhardt's sort of abilities, this causes Elsa's wounds to not heal as effectively. I thought that he said maybe Reinhardt had a divine protection or a blessing that allows. If you get an, if you like inflict a wound on another, then it's hard for them to like heal it back or some shit. But, um, I I don't know. But uh, she has a tendency to pick at her wounds, right? She was literally fingering her wounds in that one a uh, break time episode. This causes Melee to get some sort of ointment from a witch beast and Oil have up. to smother it all over Elsa's naked body <laughs> to heal her wounds. And we. I volunteer! Get an illustration of Elsa buck naked. I have to, of course, uh, censor this because it will obviously demonetize me. Um, so yeah, you can see it on screen. I've censored it. Yeah, but this I happens in an ARC 1 side story. Damn. In the ARC 2 web novel, when Subaru wakes up, he of course wakes up with his bathrobe on. However, we don't actually see how he gets into that clothing. We Aww, who undressed him? Was it Rem? We actually find out in the web novel that Amelia is the person that strips Amelia. Subaru naked okay. of his tracksuit and redresses him. And Amelia has seen Subaru's manhood. And that's a whole chapter in the web novel where Subaru's dejected about this. This is, of course, cut out in the light novel. There's a whole fucking chapter. Dedicated to Subaru being dejected that Amelia saw his weenie. And the anime. Shortly after, we see Amelia outside, and this happens in the anime where Puck, Amelia, and Subaru spend time together. Victory! And of course, this is where Subaru teaches Amelia about exercise. Radio in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Victory. However, in the web novel, it goes a bit differently, where Subaru actually trips over and slides underneath Amelia, <laughs> seeing that she wears white panties. I'm so glad you, you you removed that shit. That's some rudiest behavior, bro. Not my main character of this show. Come on, man. That's some rudy shit. Listen, we can't be having some fucking harem pro tag. Fucking oops, I slipped, but I didn't even slip. It was a tactical slide to see your pants. Emilia gets embarrassed and then proceeds to shoot ice balls at Subaru. Monster. So he can repent. Again, this is something which is stereotypical in Isekai yep. anime. And Very trashy behavior, right? And that's why I think that ReZero is... He, it, does, it, it does such tasteful fan service, right? It doesn't have these pointless fucking panty shots and random groping of stuff. It's cut out of the anime and light novel. Then shortly after, we get the scene I talked about at the start of the video. The idea that Amelia is so grateful for what Subaru has done in helping her get her royal insignia that she will do anything for Subaru. And of course, Subaru is saying, oh, you shouldn't say that as a woman because people will take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. And Amelia again goes on saying she'll do anything. And apparently she uses extremely sexualized moaning. So some of the words she's using stuff like um, ump, ump. Apparently in Japan, that's sexualized moaning. So Amelia is essentially saying Subaru can do sexualized things to her. I'm so glad they changed that. What were they? What, what, what was Tape thinking? Why was he so down bad? This just makes it so cheap. There, there, there's no point to do that. What the fuck? Th this should be fan fiction. Uh, however, she starts crying afterwards. And of course, Subaru feels a bit sadistic seeing Amelia's demeanor. It seemed in the web novel, of course, Amelia was more aware of sexual things. Yeah. Of course, we know it. In and it makes no sense because Amelia is this, she's basically a child, right? Her mentality, her understanding and awareness of sexual health and education, it's absent. She dead ass thought babies were made if you kiss somebody because you know, that's how she grew up and Anna Rose low-key gaslit her. In the anime version and the light novel, Amelia believes that kisses make babies, but in the web novel, it seemed like she was a bit more knowledgeable about the repercussions of sexual things. 
When Subaru questions Roswell again in the ARC 2 web novel, Roswell, of course, doesn't really answer his questions. However, Subaru says that if Roswell doesn't answer, then he's going to sexually assault Amelia, which again, what? again gives a negative reaction from Amelia. And again, this is a real thing. It does happen. You can see it on screen. I'm going to caress Amelia time with my hands. I'll devote myself to screen. I'm going to oomph oomph and make whoopee. No, not like this, not like this. And I mean, as much as people pit Mushoku Tensei and Rizuru against each other, the authors are very close friends, right? They're, they're very close friends. And I think uh, it's making a lot, makes, it's a lot of sense. They definitely are close friends. A lot of, uh, you know, Tape's, it, he's been very influenced by uh, Mushoku Tensei. Again, uh, this is of course removed like the previous things from the web novel. So you guys can see in the web novel, Subaru is a bit of a scumbag. Yeah. And I'm glad it's been Not changed. just a bit, just really bad. At the end bad. of Bob 2, Subaru and the rest of the cast played the king game. For those that don't know... Damn, this art is crazy. This is the, you know, when Subaru is the Appa holder, like, you know, the Appa holder or something. The Appa carrier. And Al right behind Amelia, Subaru with Priscilla. The king game is where everyone will draw lots. And on the lots that they draw, there'll be a number. Subaru looks so weird here with this bangs down. Number and someone will be the king. And the king will say something like, number one, you have to do this. So the king's words are absolute. Yeah. In the king game, Subaru gets other people to strip off their clothes. <laughs> of course, wanting Amelia to take off her clothing. And Subaru tells number three to take off their underwear. Of course, this backfires. Who was that? Turns out this is actually Beatrice. So Be <laughs> Beatrice underwear. Beatrice has to go outside and take off her underwear. And again, Subaru is really aggressive, saying, "Beatrice, strip, strip now!" And it's, it's <laughs> I want you to realize how ridiculous this is with the context of Biko waiting for the chosen one to show up to free her from their contract, right? And Biko thinking that Subaru may be the one. And then Subaru basically saying this shit to Biko. And Biko's probably thinking, yeah, he, he ain't the one. This is, We're cooked here. Pretty weird. On a small tangent, in ReZero Prophecy of the Throne, in a side route, Subaru also tried to strip Beatrice by throwing water on her and trying to get her... <laughs> he threw water on her? Oh, you're wet now, Beatrice. You better change your clothes. ...dirty so that she would have to take off her Bruh. clothing. Of course, he fails every single time. And the reason why he's trying to do this is to sort of repay a favor because Beatrice has helped him. So he wants to help Beatrice by, like, making her clothes or something. And this is repaying the favor. You're low-key sexually assaulting this girl by throwing water on her and saying, take your clothes off and you're this is repaying the favor. And so the way he wants Beatrice to sort of get out of her clothes is by making her strip. So ah. Subaru goes out of his way to try and get Beatrice wet so she'll take off her clothes. Again, it's pretty weird, but, you know, it's not the first time Subaru has tried to do this. In Arc 3, Bro. when Subaru meets Krush, apparently in this illustration you can see Krush's nipples. Again, I'm Oh my god, you can, yeah. It's, it's darker here. It, it <laughs> the attention to detail, there's a, there's a little bit of a, you know, a point here, right, mate? A point here and a point here, mate. I'm not too sure on this, but people will literally argue it to the death, so I'm including it. <laughs> After the White Whale fight, Subaru goes back to the mansion to where Emilia is, and okay. she actually is changing oh. when Subaru and Ram walk in, and of course Subaru sees Emilia naked. Subaru what? Is changing when Subaru and Ram walk in. Subaru and Ram walk. I, I thought that Subaru and Reinhardt walked in for some reason because I saw Reinhardt here as the picture. And of course Subaru sees Emilia naked and <gasps> changing her clothes. In R2, I totally forgot to go over this, but... Oh my goodness. Oh my, that's Ram. This is official art. What the? I skipped it. Um, but we actually have an illustration of Rem dressing up Ram. And again, we can see Ram in her underwear and bra, which again, the... Uh, what's the uh, artist's name of ReZero? Otsuki or something? I forget. But I hear that he's just... She's just a lolly con for real. <laughs> Pandora was not supposed to be a lolly, yet she is. The 
yeah, Otsuka or something, right? Yeah, he he is definitely a chronic lolicon, and it is not surprising that he would draw this. You know, super fans of Izzy. In Arc 4, Ryuzu Meiya is depicted as wearing a white dress when she But she naked in the anime though. So Otsuka definitely removed it. She's locked in the crystal. However, in the anime, she's depicted as being naked. So I Well no no no, it's not Oscar's fault here because he drew her with the clothes on, but I guess White Fox was like, nope, she gotta be naked. I have no clue why they made this change. Likewise, there are other changes to some characters. It's just funny thinking about how this works in like a corporate setting. You know, there's like an office and people are all wearing suits and stuff, and we're talking about alright. Today we're gonna be going over how to adapt, you know, this episode of ReZero from this chapter. Alright, uh, in this episode, we have the OG Ryuzu. Uh, she seems to have clothing in the source material, okay? Does anyone have any opinions about this? And one person's like, yup, she should be naked. And everyone else is like, oh, that's why. That, that's why he makes the big dogs. Yeah, oh my god, genius. Oh, we, we could have never thought about that. You, you're right, the priority is correct. It's just uh, other people in the suits like, you're damn right. Promotion, promotion such as Echidna. Again, if you've watched my live streams, you already know this. Yeah, the Echidna titty buff is crazy. But Echidna's breast size has been significantly increased from the light novel to the anime. Now, why would they increase Echidna's titty size, but Amelia's was kind of nerfed? Echidna bias. Someone in White Fox went out and said, no. Like again, just think about it. Right? White Fox is literally, it's a meeting table and they're talking about, all right, what's the most important things that we need to make sure we're getting it right for the source material? The bus size. <laughs> yes, I get the bus. Someone said, yep, make her bus size like four more cups higher. This also happened with Amelia in season two and Amelia's breast size was reduced in the Blu-ray DVD. <laughs> they reduced it. <laughs> when you, people genuinely have nothing. This is, this is what you're busy with? You people get paid to go fucking reducing bre in the Blu-ray DVD of all things? You would think that they would increase it for the Blu-ray DVD, right? So again, I'm not too sure why they increased what their the fuck? size. Pretty much all of the witches have fan service and Typhon, for example, her not- No, it's not Typhon, it's Typhon. Notable fan service is that her dress is actually trans translucent. Yep, exactly. The art, right? I, I didn't even notice until I stared closer and was like, oh my god, you can see her full body underneath the fucking dress. Aaron, so you can see here that you can actually see her legs. And again, I'm not too sure why they've done this, but yeah. In addition to the witches having fan service, most of you know this by now. But <laughs> Look at the concept art here for Pandora, where her entire poncho is flying. But Pandora doesn't wear any panties. In fact, this was shown when episode 44 was released with Bruh. this promotional image. Promotional image. <laughs> promotional image. <laughs> this is crazy. It, sometimes it really puts into perspective how different, you know, cultures are. Right, in North America, people are, like, this would never happen with, like, a North American product, right? They would never, but Japan, totally different society, totally different culture, and they're like, yep, we're gonna whore our lollies out, what you gonna do about it? And people love this shit. However, they had to release a censored version due to the backlash that <laughs> I got backlash. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> look at it, right? Does the sensor is literally, does the, is the ghost covering the coochie? Or is her clothing covering the coochie, right? Like, like, boom, boom. <laughs> this is some Pan Piano shit. I'm surprised Pan Piano isn't, you know, cosplaying as any of the ReZero characters. However, they had to release a censored version due to the backlash that it garnered. Most witches have oh, illustrations segment. showing... What the fuck, sec? Oh my god. She's always just laying down on the ground, so I never really knew, but god damn. Her hair is also so fucking long. It's so long that it comes all the way down, loops around, and then matches her shoulder length. And then the bunnies. <laughs> the cute little bunnies here. Interesting. The bunny here has a patch on its forehead. Implying that the horn has been broken off, but the horn grew back here. You know how if you break off the horns of a witch fiend, you can control them. Them in bra and panties. This includes Typhon, Daphne, and Sekhmet, 
alongside Frederica. But of course, I'm not going to show you all of them, but you can find them on the ReZero Wiki character pages. Of course, there's a... I'm predicting it right now. Before the first eight episodes of ReZero Season 3 finishes, Pan Piano will have a cosplay for Capella. Right now, as we speak, Capella cosplay outfit is on its way to Taiwan for Pan Piano. Yep, I'm calling it right now. You heard it here first. It's going to fucking happen. A lot more fan service than this, but I've only covered a small amount, and I don't want to get into light novel and web novel spoilers. I also omitted the fact that Priscilla owes Subaru a fondling, and Subaru is allowed to touch Priscilla's breasts, but, you know... Is this web novel content that got cut out, or is it still gonna happen at the end, eh? Hopefully you guys have learned something new, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you as what? Couldn't Hello, even everybody. hear you! <laughs> what an insane fucking video. Honestly, I love these videos from Jake, right? His uh, recap analysis ones are great as well, but... You know, these, these just like side story meme shit, it, it, it's just like Ulto's first lover was a fucking cat. Who can super beat in a fight? <laughs> these videos are actually so fun. Please go give him a like. Check out his channel if you haven't. Here's the link and I'll see you next time.